Hi, welcome back to the desk corner. Welcome to most likely the last video of 2022 on this channel. You're probably wondering what is going on here. Well, I realized after going through my channel a bit that I've never really done a New Year's related artwork. Part of that is maybe because New Year's is not my most favorite holiday of the year. In fact, I usually don't really like this holiday. However, 2022 has been such a very long and honestly a difficult year that I'm ready to say goodbye to it and say hello to the new year of 2023, both for me and for this channel. So I thought it would be fun if I decorated my plastic wine glass here. So I have some glass wine glasses that I just do not want to use for this because I think I only have two of them and I like them and they're shorter. So this is one of the only bigger ones I had. It's plastic, so if I mess it up, it's not a huge deal. And I'm going to be using my acrylic paint markers. Now these are the Artistro ones that I've had for like three or four years now. I don't know if they are still good. I spent a while just shaking some of these to try and like get the paint moving because I haven't used these in a while. Over here on the box, you could see that it says, well, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says you can use these on all sorts of things. If you're wondering, where is the Christmas art haul video? Well, I did too much of a Black Friday haul, so my Christmas haul video is going to be quite a bit smaller. Ginger agrees. However, yes, I am being naughty, and there will be some new art supplies for that, but I'm just gonna post that video later so we can get this New Year's video up on time. Okay, that was a long intro, <laughs> Ginger. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get straight into decorating. I also have acrylic paint pens by Artistro, however, these I find a lot harder to prime and just use in general on a lot of surfaces. I'm sure they would be okay on plastic, but I really like the felt marker tips rather than the finer point for acrylic paint pens or markers. I suppose it could just be the one brand, but I haven't really tried any others, so I decided to just go with the markers for this project. I figured out early on that I would have to put something inside the wine glass in order to be able to see it as I'm creating my design because I have so many brain cells, you guys. So I stuck a little piece of paper in there and that way you could see much better. I'm trying to practice and have a go at lettering and I have absolutely no skills. First attempt didn't go so well. Luckily, plastic is very forgiving, and when the paint was still wet, I was able to wipe it away and start fresh. I decided maybe we will just do a more simple design here. We're just going to do a giant 2023, and I'm using my gold. Now, the gold, interestingly enough, doesn't look as good on paper or even wood. However, using it on plastic for the first time, it actually looks way less green and more like the color gold that I would want to use, which is funny as it doesn't show up that way on paper with this specific gold marker. So I was very happy with how the gold looks and I am just kind of trying to wing it here. And let me tell you guys, for some reason, I am not very good at keeping my hands steady. So trying to hold something up like this and at the same time draw in these numbers and try and make them look even and not too funny, that was a little bit difficult for me. But luckily, as I mentioned before, the plastic is plenty forgiving and I was able to go in and rework a lot of areas here. I got another very big brain idea to maybe stuff it with more paper so that the paper up against the walls of the glass would not fall and stay more in place as I continued this design so that I really did not have to worry about that paper moving around since I'm moving the wine glass around so much. And then I went in with my black acrylic paint marker and decided to fill in the numbers now, I did regret not doing a black outline and a gold fill rather than what I did here, which is a gold outline and a black fill, obviously. We are actually going to speed things up a little bit because this part just took me absolutely forever doing the black fill. I was very afraid while doing it and my hand was kind of shaking and then the hand holding the wine glass was also not really very still and 
I was kind of hovering, so it was just a little bit of a mess. Now keep in mind, since the paint was wet, I also was trying to be careful not to touch any of it with my hand, which is why I had to kind of hover my hand on top so that I wouldn't accidentally smear it. You're seeing now that this is coming out of its ugly stage a little bit, and here I decided why not do some ornaments. I quickly decided against that idea, remembering that I don't know how to draw a circle, which can be a problem. Oh, there's me trying to fix it. Didn't work out. Now you can kind of see what I mean about the glass being, or the plastic being forgiving. I could just wipe that mistake right off. Try again. Don't know why I tried again when I already knew it wasn't going to be good. And then I decided, well, let's just do some stars instead. It's a little bit less Christmassy and more New Year's. So I did some gold stars. Thought I could maybe outline them with the black, but then realized the black was a little bit too thick for that to work, so I just added a couple of details with the black to make the stars pop out a little bit more. And at this stage, I was pretty happy with this. I thought, you know, this is pretty cute. I should just keep it like this and just outline it a little bit more. But of course I decided that it needs a lot more, which, you know, sometimes simpler is better. But in this case, I guess I didn't care too much because it is just a random wine glass. It's probably just going to sit in the cupboard and it isn't high stakes or anything like that. Now I'm just going in to make this a little more bold and fix some of the edges, make the gold stand out a little bit more. And as I'm doing that, let's talk a little bit about the holiday itself. So as I mentioned before, New Year's is not my favorite holiday. For me, it marks the end of the holiday season, the start of new projects that need to be done, new goals, to-do lists, and all sorts of things. I'm not going to be very harsh on myself this year after the few years that we've had, obviously. However, I still feel the pressure of the new year whenever we reach the end of a year. And I'm sure a lot of people feel that way as well, which is why I'm never super inclined to celebrate New Year's very much because I never feel like it's that fun of a holiday for me. But that's okay. It's still a little bit fun to have one last holiday after all the bigger ones have passed to kind of celebrate before we go into the season of pretty much no holidays for a long while or no major holidays for a long while. And I guess the beginning of a year is just a little bit more boring than the end because the end has seasons and holidays and fun things like that, whereas the beginning is just a little more bland for me. But I don't want this conversation to get too depressing, so let's add some fireworks. I decided that this was too simple and fireworks of different colors would allow me to be able to use some of the other markers besides the black and gold, so we're just going to add some. And I think that this turned out okay. I didn't want the background to overpower the front part, or the foreground I mean, and so I decided to just kind of outline the 2023 again in black as you guys can see, and then just do the fireworks small in the background, and just add a couple of different colors so that it's not so plain. And hopefully that didn't ruin the whole thing. What do you guys think? Don't you think it might be better if this was a black wine glass? I'm starting to feel like I should have just painted the whole thing black to start with, and now I'm very much regretting that. I wonder if there's still something I could do. And so here's how it looks. It kind of looks like something you might get from the dollar section, but at the same time, it's kind of charming as well. What do you guys think? I think I'm actually going to stop it there, you guys. So it looks like this area is white, but it's actually um, green fireworks and in some lighting you just can't really see it. And I'm aware that once I take out this white stuffing that I used printer paper for, it is not going to show up as well. However, I'm not so sure if I like the firework background and I almost want to paint the glass just one solid color in the background or even black and then put fireworks on top. However, however, um, this is already black on the inside so I'm not really sure if that would really do much. I'm not sure I want to actually paint the inside. I guess we could go ahead and remove the paper and see how it looks. Okay, so without the paper, it actually doesn't look so bad. You can see the hints of the color and it looks kind of subtle in the background. However, overall, the cup does feel like it's missing something and I didn't do anything to this side because I kind of want it to be see-through like this. Um, I could add fireworks to this side, but I don't know if it's completely necessary. Maybe I will. 
I don't know you guys. What do you guys think? Should I add some more fireworks? I'm not going to seal it quite yet because I'm not 100% confident in it. So I will take your suggestion, suggestions, suggestions in the comments down below on what you guys think I should do with it. And you know, it's just for fun. It's just a wine glass that's probably going to sit in the cupboard for the most part, but I thought this would be a fun project for me to do on camera. Alright you guys, that's about it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Happy New Year! I hope that you've had a nice holiday season this year, and I'm very excited for what's to come in 2023, and of course continuing on this channel in 2023, and hopefully the next video will be something related to the quantity of supplies that I got for Black Friday that I still haven't made videos about. And of course, there's still more coming because that's just, that's just how it works here, around here. All right, thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.